Welcome aboard passengers. We're on the next episode of the Midland Mainline coming to Train Sim World by Skyhook Games. This is Long Eaton. Cue the intro. <laughs> Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim. We are at Long Eaton Station. Um, that way is Spondon and then Derby, and that way is Nottingham and East Midlands Parkway, etc. This station here has two tracks. It has tactile paving, which is great. It's nice to mention that. Some of these stations have tactile paving, some don't. But this is Long Eaton. It is elevated. So as you can see from some of the footage that we will be putting in, there is a lift. There are ramps. Um, I don't think there are stairs, but there is a lift and a ramp, but you have to go down underneath to get back up again. So just make sure you're on the right platform before you come up, because if not, you're going to have to go straight down again. Oh, there's a pigeon in the tree. Anyway, let's have a look around this station. Come on, come on, come on, Nick. Let's go. Long Eaton Station. At one point, Sawley Junction for Long Eaton. This line was opened in 1839 by the Midland Counties Railway. It was originally called Breeston. So there is a, a town called Breeston nearby. But that word name was changed because it sounds too much like Beeston. The station was designed by A.A. A. Langley, who was an engineer to the Midland Railway. And as mentioned, it was opened at Sawley Junction in 1888. Uh, since there was another station that had been opened not far away in Draycott, the original Sawley closed in 1930. So in 1932, LMS announced that Sawley Junction would then be known as Sawley Junction for Long Eaton. And then finally, 1967, the station was officially known as Long Eaton. Since the late 2009, Long Eaton has become a penalty fare station, so tickets must be purchased from the ticket office or self-service machine before boarding a train, which is that's kind of the way it happens. But it's weird that you have to get it from the ticket office or the self-service machine if you not get the ticket on board the train. But it's probably better to do that or even online to get the best ticket. Both lifts were out of order, out of service, which is uh, a little weird. But because of the ramps going up and down the platforms, that was probably why they may have been switched off and not getting fixed. Whereas if it was steps only, they probably would have uh, fixed the lifts a little quicker. Not sure how long they've been off, but just quite interesting to see that it was out of service. 